One day, a child kneeled down to say his prayers. As he began to pray, an angel of the Lord heard him. And for all, all around him, many children were saying their prayers. And many children had many reasons to say their prayers. The prayer of this one child stood out in the angel's ear and mind. The child was a child labourer. He worked every day, breaking huge rocks into gravel for the construction industry. Every day was the same for this child. On the morning he would take his hammer, go to the quarry and begin smashing these huge rocks. Whilst all the other children around him were praying for love, for family, for food, for an education, for a way out of this child labour they found themselves in. This one child prayed hard for something very different. The child prayed only for respect and for power. And the angel appeared to the child and said to him, Child, why do you pray for things such as power and respect? And the child said, Because these things will change my life. If everybody respects me and I am powerful, then I will be able to do as I wish and I will be able to live as I please. The angel discussed with the child how this was not so and how even the smallest of creatures is of worth to the Lord. But the child stayed strong with his prayer and said, I will not listen to you. What I require is respect and power. The angel agreed that he would grant the child his wish. And thus, the very next day, whilst the child was working in the quarry, a businessman pulled up in his car, and the child said, Wow, what power, what respect, and what wealth he has. If only I were a businessman, then everybody would respect me, and I would have power. And so the angel granted him his prayer, and the child became a businessman. As the businessman went about his business, he attended a conference. And when he attended this conference, he met the president of the country. He noticed how everybody was looking to the president. Everyone was hanging on the president's words and everybody was silent as he spoke. And he said to himself, what power this man has compared to why? What respect he has compared to I. If only I was as powerful as the president. And so, the angel granted the businessman his wish and the businessman became the president of his own country. Now the president one day was sitting in a meeting and in this meeting they were discussing going to war. And one man sat in the meeting and said, I will not finance what you need to go to war. Our banks will not support you. And the president sat back and said, What power this man has that he can tell I, the leader of a country, that I cannot go to war without his finance, that I cannot go to war without the machines that he builds. How it must be to be as powerful as that man. A man so powerful, so wealthy, and so respected that he can decide if wars happen or don't. And so the angel made the president into such a man. And sitting there in charge of his banks, in charge of his huge corporations and his arms dealers and his munitions factories. The man sat in his huge mansion one day and went outside. As he sat outside in the sun, 
he began to sweat profusely and he grew so hot that he had to go back inside of his huge house. Sitting inside his house in the shade, he thought to himself, how powerful is the sun? So powerful that it can shine its rays on me and force I, a man who has say over presidents, presidents who control whole countries and rule over the people. Yet the sun can force me to do as it wishes. It can force me to go inside. I wish I had as much power as the sun. And so the angel granted this man his wish and he became the sun. And sitting up in the sky, he felt complete as he beat down his rays on the whole of the planet. He could make farmers happy, he could make them sad, he could force any man on the planet indoors if he so wished. And he thought to himself, surely nothing is more powerful than I. Until one day a black storm cloud blew in between the sun and the earth. At the time the sun was beating his rays down upon a very powerful man. However, due to the black storm cloud, the man sat in the shade and remained where he was. The sun said to himself, how powerful is this storm cloud? This storm cloud that can block out the rays of I, the sun, the sun so powerful that I can move all humans. I wish I were as powerful as that storm cloud. And so the angel granted the sun his prayer and the sun became the storm cloud and rolling around in the skies with its rumbling thunder pouring rain on whoever it wished and blocking out the sun's rays whenever it felt the storm cloud said to itself I am surely the most powerful force there is for I can block out the rays of the sun the sun that can move the most powerful men on the planet Feeling satisfied in his power, one day something happened, he felt himself moving and he said, what is this that can move I, I the storm cloud who can block out the sun, what is powerful enough to move me? And he realized it was the wind blowing him across the sky. How powerful is this wind, the storm cloud said so powerful it can blow me the very thing that can block out the rays of the sun that can create floods and it can just blow me away i wish i had the same power as the wind and so the angel heard his prayer and the storm cloud became the wind that was moving him around now the wind said to itself, surely there is nothing more powerful than I. I can blow over trees, I can blow down houses, I can blow away storm clouds. Storm clouds so powerful they can block out the rays of the sun. The sun so powerful it can move the most powerful men on the planet. Until one day he blew up against something. And he blew, and he blew, and he blew. But no matter how hard he blew, it would not move, it did not change shape, and the wind had no effect on it. Looking down, the wind saw a huge rock, and he said, How powerful is that rock, that it can stand there like a mountain, and not be moved by either wind, the wind which is powerful enough to move storm clouds. I wish I were as powerful as that rock. And so the angel granted the prayer to the wind. And sitting there solid, knowing that he was immovable by the wind itself, knowing that the sun could not heat him up, knowing that the storm cloud could not cool him down, he said to himself, I am surely the most powerful force there is. What could possibly have more power than I? Until one day, 
the rock began to feel himself changing shape. And he said, what can this be? What can change the shape of something as powerful as me? And he looked down and there he saw a small child with his hammer breaking the rock away into gravel. <laughs>